Hello, I'm Cody Whipple with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Today, we're with Dave Nyhart. In this video, he's going to introduce you to one of Pennsylvania's salmonids, the brown trout. Thanks, Cody. As Cody mentioned, today we're going to take a look at a brown trout. Um, brown trout are not native to Pennsylvania. They're not native to North America at all. Uh, this species came across the pond from, from Europe at the turn of the century. Uh, early, er, I'm sorry, late 1800s is really when this fish was brought over. Um, since then, I mean, the fish have done well. Uh, they've established many wild populations throughout the state. This fish here is obviously a wild brown trout. Wild meaning that it was, has originated from this stream. So brown trout, as you can kind of see here, obviously they're brown in color. Um, and they kind of have different color variations depending on the stream you're in and depending on what cover is available. But this is a typical uh, looking brown trout. You can see obviously the sides are brown yellowish in color. They have very big dots and again some of these patterns can can change. You can get brown trout that have in. It's not saying that all brown trout have that characteristic, uh, but, but most of them do. So, they are a little more tolerant of, of warmer stream temperatures than brook trout and rainbow trout. Uh, but again, waters in the, in the 50s to 60s, they prefer. As it, water still approaches 70, they can still do fine. Really when you get mid-70s is really when you're going to have a noticeable impact on, on the survival of brown trout. Again, they are more tolerant to um, water temperatures compared to, to, to brook trout, but they still require cold water. And in Pennsylvania, we'll find these anywhere from a small mountain stream that we're at today, uh, all the way down to some of our bigger spring creeks, uh, like Spring Creek, Fishing Creek, Penn Creek, some of our bigger systems. Uh, that get a slightly warmer at certain times of the year will harbor good populations of wild brown trout compared to some other species that we have. Brown trout, similar to uh, brook trout, they spawn in the fall. They spawn a little bit later in the fall. Usually right around end of October, November, these fish will start really staging up to spawn. Same motions as, they, as any other species, the female will make the red. Um, and once the eggs are laid and, and the males come in, She'll cover the nest back up, leave the nest unprotected, and it'll stay that way um, until the eggs hatch. Yeah, so here we have uh, a few more great examples of, uh, of a trout red. Uh, distinguishable once again by the lightness of the red. Um, like I said, roughly basketball in size and shape. So the, the reason that we can see that it's light like that is because that's where the female has actually taken her tail and cleaned out all of that more fine substrate. Yep, correct. So she'll come in uh, once you find a suitable location uh, to lay her eggs. Uh, she'll come in, kind of roll on her side, kind of wiggle, and that allows the tail to kind of articulate that uh, gets enough energy and disturbance to allow those fine sediment to uh, you know, float downstream and clean away, uh, exposing nice gravel from where those eggs can kind of settle in between the crevices there. And similar to other species of trout, the incubation time really depends on the water temperature and the amount of dissolved oxygen available. So these eggs, or these um, brown trout, fry will typically hatch again sometime in February, uh, near around the same time as what you would expect your brook trout to hatch. We only have one specimen here. This is a male, or this is an adult that's probably 11 inches in size. So this is probably right around a three-year-old fish. Uh, but when they're born, obviously they're much smaller than this. And they do grow fairly large compared to uh, stream-dwelling stream -dwelling brook trout. It's not uncommon to see these fish uh, excess of 20 inches. Again, it's rare and it really depends on the habitat that, that they're located in. But for a stream this size, you're looking at a stream probably four or five meters in width. This is a very nice fish for this system. When you start getting into some of your more fertile systems, your spring creeks and some of your bigger um, 
transitional streams, you will start to get bigger fish. That's when you really notice these fish that are 16, 20, 20 plus inches. So again, um, the brown trout is a very beautiful fish. It's very common in PA. It, it's it, wild uh, brown trout are common in Pennsylvania. They commonly do occur uh, with, with brook trout, not always. Uh, but generally, if you start finding brown trout in some of these small streams, you're going to find uh, brook trout as well.